Have you ever pondered how the powerful and majestic bears manage their reproduction and mating season? It's a question that stirs intrigue, isn't it? In the wild, the survival of every species hinges on successful reproduction, and bears are no exception. Their mating season is a fascinating spectacle of nature, a dance of power, and tenderness that ensures the continuation of their lineage. Stick around to uncover the fascinating life of bears during their mating season. Interestingly, the bear mating season commences during the warm summer months. The casual observer might wonder why. The answer lies within the bear's unique biology and the environment they inhabit. When the winter chill gives way to the gentle caress of spring, it signals the start of a new chapter in the life of a bear, the mating season. As the snow melts and the earth thaws, bears emerge from their winter dens, shaking off the lethargy of hibernation. This time of year is bustling with activity, as the bear's environment transforms into a vibrant tableau of life. The onset of summer is not merely a change of weather, it's a call to action for these magnificent creatures. The longer daylight hours and the abundant food supply, thanks to the flourishing flora and fauna, provide the perfect conditions for the bears to start their courtship rituals. The male bears, also known as boars, are the first to respond to nature's call. They begin their quest for a mate by roaming vast territories. Their keen senses are on high alert, picking up the subtlest of signals that a potential mate might be near. On the other hand, female bears, or sows, have their unique way of indicating their readiness to mate. They exude a potent scent, which the boars can detect from miles away. This scent acts as a beacon, guiding the boars towards them. Yet it's not all about the scent. Visual cues play a crucial role too. Sows often display certain behaviors such as rubbing against trees or scratching the ground, leaving visible marks that act as signals for the boars. The preparation for the mating season is a fascinating process, marked by changes in behavior, appearance, and even scent. It's a time of heightened senses and intense competition, as each bear seeks to ensure the continuation of their lineage. As the season begins, bears undergo fascinating changes to attract their potential mates. It's a period of transformation that signals the start of an intricate dance of nature, one that promises the survival and continuity of these majestic creatures. Courtship in the bear world is quite a spectacle, filled with both tension and tenderness. In the heart of nature's wilderness, bears engage in a fascinating courtship ritual. It's a dance of sorts, a delicate balance of power and allure, strength and gentleness. The males or boars are often seen trailing behind the females or sows for days on end. This is no casual pursuit. It's a testament to their endurance, their commitment, an essential part of the bear courtship ritual. During this time, the boar's primary goal is to win the sow's favor while warding off potential rivals. Bear society doesn't function on the principles of monogamy, you see. So it's every boar for himself and the competition can be fierce. In fact, it's not uncommon for intense fights to break out between males vying for the same female's attention. The victor gets the spoils, having proven himself to be the fittest, strongest, and most suited to carry on his genes. Meanwhile, the sows have their own part to play in this courtship dance. While they're being pursued, they're also doing some evaluating of their own. They're looking for the strongest and most persistent males, the ones who've shown they can protect and provide. It's not just about the chase, it's about the promise of survival. And then comes the moment of connection, when the female finally accepts the male's advances. It's a moment of mutual agreement, a silent pact sealed with a nose-to-nose -nose touch. This tender gesture is more than just a sign of acceptance. It's a signal that the female is ready to mate, that she trusts the male enough to let him close. This courtship ritual is not just about physical attraction or a simple mating urge, it's a complex process, filled with signals and tests, trials and triumphs. It's a dance that's been perfected over countless generations, a dance that ensures the survival of the species. Once the courtship concludes successfully, the bear couple is ready for the next phase. The mating process of bears is unique and bears specific characteristics. Unlike many other animals, bears are not quick about their mating process. It's a slow, unhurried affair, often taking place over several days. This allows the bears to form a temporary bond, 
which is rather unique in the animal kingdom, especially among large carnivores. During this bonding period, the male and female bear will often spend time together, not just mating, but also eating, sleeping, and even playing together. This period of togetherness can last anywhere from a few days to an entire week, a testament to the slow and deliberate nature of bear mating. The actual act of mating for bears is also quite different from many other animals. The male bear will mount the female from behind in what is known as dorsal ventral copulation. This process can last anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, which is quite long in comparison to many other mammals. An interesting aspect of bear mating is the male's behavior during this time. Male bears are known to exhibit what is called mate guarding behavior. This means that the male will stay close to the female, often following her around to discourage other males from attempting to mate with her. This behavior, again, sets bears apart from many other species. Another unique characteristic of bear mating is the female's role in the process. Female bears can be quite selective about their mates, often choosing the largest and most dominant males. This selectivity is believed to be a way for female bears to ensure their offspring have the best possible genes. It's also worth noting that while the mating process is happening, the female bear is not yet pregnant. This is because bears have a fascinating biological feature known as delayed implantation. The fertilized egg will not implant in the uterus and begin growing until the female enters her winter den. Post mating, the female bear enters a fascinating phase known as delayed implantation. One of the most intriguing aspects of bear reproduction is the phenomenon of delayed implantation. Now you might wonder, what exactly is this delayed implantation? Well, it's a unique reproductive strategy where the fertilized egg does not immediately implant in the uterus, but instead floats freely in the uterus for up to six months. This delay can be quite puzzling, but it plays a crucial role in the survival of bear species. So why does this happen? It all comes down to the timing of the mating season. Bears usually mate in the summer months, but if a cub were to be born soon after, the harsh winter conditions would significantly reduce its chance of survival. The bear's body, in its remarkable wisdom, delays the development of the embryo to ensure the cubs are born during a more favorable season. The delayed implantation also ensures that the mother bear is in good health before she gives birth. If she hasn't been able to accumulate enough fat reserves after mating, the embryo will not implant and she will not bear a cub that year. This mechanism ensures that the mother can provide sufficient care and nourishment for her cubs once they are born. Moreover, this unique process allows the female bear to mate with multiple male bears during the mating season, increasing the genetic diversity of her offspring. This diversity is a boon for the bear population, particularly in areas where their numbers are dwindling. Interestingly, bears are not the only species that use this strategy. Other animals, including some species of seals and weasels, also exhibit delayed implantation. However, it's most commonly associated with bears due to the significant length of the delay and the crucial role it plays in their reproductive cycle. In essence, Delayed implantation is a remarkable adaptation that ensures the survival of bear cubs and by extension, the continuity of the bear species. It's a testament to the wonder of nature and its ingenious solutions to ensure the survival of its creations. After the rigors of mating season, bears retreat to their dens for a long winter's sleep. Bear reproduction and mating season is indeed a fascinating and complex process. It's a cycle that begins with the onset of summer as the days grow longer and the weather warms. This is when our furry friends start their quest for a mate, their senses heightened, their movements driven by the primal need to procreate. The courtship phase is particularly interesting, characterized by a gentle dance of pursuit and retreat. It's not just about physical attraction, but also about compatibility and the ability to provide and protect. The males or boars will travel far and wide following the scent of a receptive female or sow wooing her with a mix of persistence and patience. The actual mating ritual is brief but intense. It's a culmination of the courtship, a moment that ensures the continuation of their species. But the magic doesn't stop there. In the world of bears, there's a phenomenon known as delayed implantation. It's nature's way of timing the birth of the cubs perfectly. 
ensuring they arrive when conditions are most favorable for their survival. The cycle of bear reproduction is a testament to nature's incredible design, a complex interplay of instincts, hormones, and environmental cues. It's a cycle that's been repeated for millions of years, ensuring the survival and evolution of these magnificent beasts. By understanding the nuances of bear mating and reproduction, we gain a deeper appreciation